so till now we have discussed about different neck spaces now today we are going to discuss one of the uh, important lesion in the parapharyngeal space now if you see in this image now this is the parapharyngeal space the hypodense area in a ct image that is hypodense is nothing but the fat which will appear as hyper intense on t1 weighted mri and also it will it will appear as a hyper to iso intense on t2 weighted mri and in fat saturated t2 weighted mri the fat will be suppressed so it will be a hypo intense lesion so this is how uh, the parapharyngeal space will appear because of the fat that is present there now we know anterior to the fat uh, the, the parapharyngeal space there is the mast masticator space and medially there is the pharyngeal mucosal space and posterior laterally we have the carotid space and laterally we have the parotid space now these are the spaces that are present around the parapharyngeal space whenever there is a lesion in the mass the masticator space it will push the parapharyngeal space the parapharyngeal fat more medially and posteriorly similarly the pharyngeal mucosal space pushes it laterally the parotid space pushes it medially and the carotid space pushes it antero medially now this is how uh, different lesions in the neck spaces uh, when they arise they have their relation to that parapharyngeal space and this is how they push the parapharyngeal space which is how we will identify the origin of the lesion now whenever there is a lesion within a parapharyngeal space for example in this lesion we can see a lesion here now it will have the parapharyngeal fat surrounding it we can see here a hypo intense line that is surrounding this lesion so this will uh, demarcate it from the surrounding structure also it is separating it from the parapharyngeal space uh, from pharyngeal mucosal space from the muscles of masticator mastication and from the parotid gland here and the carotid space here so this fat will help us to identify this lesion which is separate from all the other spaces now this is a contrast enhanced ct why am i saying contrast enhanced ct we can see the blood vessels are enhancing blood vessels are appearing hyper and this is a contrast enhanced image and we can see that there is heterogeneous enhancement here now this is a uh, one of the feature that heterogeneous enhancement is one of the feature of uh, this lesion again if you see on t1 weighted mri we can see the fat is surrounding the lesion it is a well defined lesion that becomes very important it is a well defined lesion surrounded by fat similarly coronal section of the same image showing that's a well defined lesion surrounded by fat now if you see the t2 weighted image fat saturated t2 weighted image we can see this lesion showing it which is appearing very bright very bright on t2 weighted image which is similar to that of CSF. So now this lesion is very bright on T2, which is looking like that of uh, the CSF space, uh, that is, which is looking like a, a fluid. And if you see the enhancement pattern, heterogeneous enhancement, now this kind of picture we usually see in pleomorphic adenoma or benign mixed tumor. Now this is a case of pleomorphic adenoma in the parapharyngeal space now the differential to this is the pleomorphic adenoma in the parotid space now how do we differentiate the pleomorphic adenoma of the parotid space will be arising from the parotid gland there won't be the separation of the lesion from the parotid gland by this fat which is present here will not be seen and this cleft we can see here as well in CT images will not be seen in case of a pleomorphic adenoma of the parotid gland. The second lesion that should be differentiated in this region is a neurogenic tumor. Now even a neurogenic tumor will be T2 hyper intense, hyper to iso intense but it is not as bright as pleomorphic adenoma 
and the second feature is the enhancement of a neurogenic tumor is almost homogeneous not like this heterogeneous enhancement and the third lesion that we have to differentiate in this region are any form of cysts now second bronchial cyst is very uh, is seen in the parapharyngeal space now when there is a second bronchial cyst it will also looks like a well defined t2 hyperintense lesion but on contrast enhancement there won't be any enhancement so whenever we see a lesion in the parapharyngeal space if it is very bright on t2 looks like csf but it is having heterogeneous enhancement and it is having well defined or slightly lobulated lesion then that is nothing but pleomorphic adenoma